All right, Shalawam Yasharala, back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Next, I double honors unto the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still Water to the harvest of Bowies and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her will. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yaqims out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And with that, I'm going to jump straight right into the scriptures. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. And who is that ye that is talking about, man? It's talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And confusing the faces whose bloodline is sitting to go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to um, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, man. You know? And, uh... Uh, what, uh, what's the book of the Lord? This Bible, man. This King James 1611 Holy Bible, man. That's the book of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai put his spirit on uh, these special men or these uh, holy men to write down what they saw and, and um, you know, and put it in the book, man. You know, different testimonies and stuff like that, man. You know, so seek ye out of the book of the Lord. And read, right, which means to get understanding, man. Because these Christians and these false Israelite camp can read the scriptures, but they don't get understanding of the scriptures, man. You know? So when it says and read, it's pretty much meaning and get understanding of what you're reading, man. You know? Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, the King James 1611 Holy Bible, and get understanding of what the, the scriptures are saying, man. You know? No... No one of these shall fail, right? The prophecies, man. The prophecies that's about to come to pass, man. You know, that the men of the Lord speak, man. Starting with the head apostles of Great Millstone on down, you know. You know, the so-called, uh, the RFID microchip is about to be implemented and mandatory for all the masses of the people, man. You know, the martial law is coming. That famine is coming. That famine of the bread is coming. The famine of bread. You know, the family of the word, it's like, yeah, I said family of the uh, bread twice, the family of the word, you know, all these different prophecies that the men of the Lord speak, man, is about to come to pass, man, and they shall not fail, man, which means they're going to come. They're not going to, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to stop coming because people don't believe. They're going to come whether people believe it or not, man, you know, it's not going to fail. None shall want her mate right which means no other book is compared to the scriptures man because this these these scriptures right here this book right here this 1611 holy king james bible man is living waters man the words that are written on this book man is the holy spirit man you know what i'm saying these are uh this is the living spirit that's in these books man the words man you know so you can't compare a dead book to a living book man you can't compare the the dead bullet the holy quran to a living book like the 1611 King James Holy Bible, man. You know? You can't do that, man. It's like water and oil. They, they, they don't mix. You know? So you can't you can't make you can't you can't put the with what the Quran say and what the Bible say, man. You can't do that, man. For my mouth it had commanded, right? And what's the mouth for Yahweh by Shema and Shah the prophets, man? You know? According to Amos 3 and 7, man, and Hebrews first chapter in the first verse, man. Yahweh by Shema and Shah revealed for secrets to his servants, the prophets, and he speak through his men. You know what I mean? The men that he set up, man. You know? So the, the, the prophets are out there telling the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusing the faces to read the Holy Scriptures, man. Because this these, these uh the Bible is the history book, man. It's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians history books, man. You know? And his spirit, it had gathered them right. And the ones that hearkened unto the words of Yahabai Shimei Shai, the Yahabai Shimei Shai spirit gathered them, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, he takes heed to the word 
and the Lord willing that he be part of the ministry, man. You know what I'm saying? Prophesying the downfall and destruction uh, uh, against America, man. You know? And the Holy Spirit gathered them, man. You know? The men of the Lord, man. You know? In the four corners of the earth, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, which is this word right here, man. This, this The spirit uh, subdued with our spirit, man. It resonated with our spirit that this is the truth, man. And it, then it gathered us all together, man. This brotherhood, man. The churches, man. You know? So, hey, man. You know, and the Holy Spirit is these words, man. According to St. John 6 and 63, man. You know? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. That has gathered uh, all the uh, the men of the Lord together, man. You know? So, um, so hey, man. With that, Lord willing, this video was edifying for you. I can better that's watching. I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Next up, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, who still guard us to the harvest and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yachim out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with bonusness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, Shalom, Kwame Ashirala.